Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my second ever session of Dying Light 2. And allow me to explain to you why I think this one's going to be better than yesterday. Because we actually can play the game today. Yesterday for three hours. All right. Two hours, 45 minutes. It was intro. And because of that, we weren't really able to focus in on what the core gameplay mechanics were going to be. And I feel like we didn't actually get a good representation of what Dying Light 2 is as a game. I actually feel that instead, we kind of know what the story is. But now today, we're going to actually flesh out how the game works. So... Where are we? We're at our first settlement ever. What I ended up doing was liberating this uh, windmill at the very tail end of yesterday's stream. It only took about 10 minutes to figure it out. You had to basically do some platforming and puzzle stuff to climb that. And once you turned it on, all these settlers showed up. And now you have a vendor here. I'm just curious what kind of stuff this guy sells. Let's see. Weapons. Oh yeah, merchants. See that? Oh, it says you can buy crafting parts. You could buy weapons. Okay. So he's offering a Lumberjack's Axe and a Blade Axe. Currently, I have 33 currency. All right. And these cost 500. I don't think I'll be buying them. <laughs> this is, ooh, a decoy throwable. Throw to create a loud ongoing noise. It attracts and confuses nearby infected. Okay. Molotov cocktails he has. Endurance booster, immunity booster. Different booster consumables. See that? Hmm. Well, I can't afford any of those, but at least we now know it, it's there. Shout out to Plum Girl, who has re-upped her membership for nine months. Someone I says, I missed two streams. I'm excited to be back. Cheers. Nobody's Cheers to you, Plum Girl. It. Good to have you back. Welcome Such back to the stream. Is Jasper still around? He just went in the closet. Oh, he literally just opened the closet and ran into it. He was blocking the TV for about a minute, but then he realized I wasn't going to say nothing, so he, let, he uh, walked away. All right, if I'm going to explore, we want to explore during the daytime. At this point, it's too early in the game. For me to be messing around at night, I know how weak I am, and I don't want to uh, press my luck. I was actually just saying to the people on the stream, take a look at this. I think what this is, is pictures of the game devs, and they actually snuck hit them on the wall here. See that? So let's uh, let's sleep until morning, and then we'll go exploring. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, okay. I was going to say, did the pictures disappear? No, you just got out of bed the other way. So the pictures look the same during the day because of the UV light. All right, so here we are. Our first open world opportunity to check out stuff, right? What the hell's that noise? I guess in the morning they play music or something. There's no subtitles for them talking around you. I guess the subtitles are only for the story elements because there's no subtitles for their dialogue. You saw that, right? All right, so what I would like to do, let's open up our map. And here's some of the things that I marked off yesterday. The Night Runners hideout. Night Runners built these throughout the city to help carry out missions or to simply regroup after operations. Each one contains bedding, some UV lamps, and a generator so you can feel safe whether it's day or night. So if I do this, I get some rewards... For doing it, including I think that's experience points. <clears throat> Out here is the old Villador Master Windmill. But I don't know if there's anything there. It's kind of grayed out, which makes me feel like maybe there's nothing there now, but maybe you could do something later. A trading post. Military convoy contains precious cargo, gear, weapons, and accessories abandoned by military troops in the midst of their battle. Scavenge for weapons, gear, and accessories. That's really close. So maybe I should do that. That's our standard save zone. That's where we started. Here's where the story is. The only way out. That's at the bazaar. We have to go to the bazaar for that. So I'm almost thinking... Let's do... Let's check out this military convoy straight ahead. Okay? And then maybe we'll go take out this extra safe house. And then when we're done with that, since we'll have done a little bit of side content... Then we go and do the main story mission at the bazaar. It's kind of what I'm thinking. Sound like a plan? <clears throat> What's up, Pink Hugh? Welcome to the stream. Reflections to check out the crate next to me. What do you mean, in the room? The crate next to me is just stored. This is where you store items. That's it. It's just your personal storage if you don't want to take all your items with you. So, so now, how do I tell where that military convoy is? According to this, it's straight ahead, but how do I... Is the, can you put a marker on it, or... 
Center led. You can't put a marker on anything from what I can see. That's. Oh, wait, track. You had to hold the button. Okay, you hold the button and that's how you track it. What's up, Tyrone? Welcome to the stream. All right, guys, we're off. So it's down there. Now, what's a safe way to get down there and not take damage? Probably this here. Oh, shit. Well, I missed. I didn't do the jump properly. So it's saying the convoy is... Da that's it. These trucks are the convoy itself. What the? Oh, I stepped on the barbed wire, I think. Ouch. Yeah, I guess that would hurt. So how do I search these exactly? Do I just go down and maybe the doors will open? I guess we'll find out. Right? Lockpick hard. I guess we could try it. Okay. Shit. Nope. Okay, it's further left then. Here we go. Son of a bitch. It's very sensitive, the lock picking. Got it. So, resources. Immunity boosters. Okay. I want to make any noise because that'll probably uh, attract the infected. Another hard lock pick. Okay. Got it on the first. Wow, that was fast. Good. More immunity boosters. I don't know how to use these. I got a battery as well. Since they're purple, I'm assuming they're a rare resource. Here comes a zombie. Nothing. Open. With a tank. What's that? Rations. Huh. Okay. Oh, shit. There's more over there. Oh, fucking shit scared me. Well, I legit just got scared there. I didn't think it was coming. It was actually quite quiet. Yikes. Oh, it's, it's gruesome how they explode, right? It really is nasty. So I did those two and I did that. Is there anything else to search here? I think that might be it. Just those three uh, vehicles. That's disgusting. I think that's it. I don't see anything else. All right. So now we looted it, right? So now what I want to do, I want to go to that safe house, that optional safe house right here. So let's see if we can figure out a way to get there. Oh, wait, what's this? Huh? Fish monk side quest? Uh. I guess we'll try to figure this out. Fish monk side quest. What is that? What does it look like I'm doing, asshole? Is this? Get it up. The hell is that? You should be <laughs> so fucked now. <laughs> I can't parry. I'm doing it. And they're acting like I'm not when I'm fucking definitely doing it. See? It's fucking stupid. What the? We only fight each other. <laughs> His head came off. Can you take it? I got pushing for you, motherfucker. Ew, what the fuck? Why? Why was his blood white? Batter up. 
Hope the zombies kill him. His blood is white. You're seeing that, right? Why is their blood all white instead of red? I don't understand what's going on. That one was red. Hold 80 use medicine. Apparently I'm low on health. There's another guy. It's not parrying. I'm doing exactly what I did yesterday in the tutorial to parry. It's not parrying at all. There, I finally got one. Look at the blood! Why is there so much blood? <laughs> what happened? I threw something? I don't even know how I did that. My health is terrible. My health bar is tiny. Parkour skill has gone up. Me and the zombie were comboing this guy. Look. Oh, I hit him with a throwing spear. What the hell was that? What? What the fuck? Things just started blowing up for no reason. I don't understand what just happened. So this is there's a trophy here. I'm not gonna be able to do this. Aren't these guys gonna attack me? Maybe they let me. I don't know. There we go. Uncommon valuables. <laughs> Leather guard. So I have a new uh, a new item I can wear. It looks like the mission is up there. See? So what I just did was not the mission. That was just something random. Random dudes to kill. By the way, their bodies have disappeared. Yeah, look. Most of their bodies have just vanished from the game. Weird. So how do I get up there? I guess I just crawl up here. Oh, Anna Burgable is saying when I threw the spear, it must have actually hit that gas tank. And then that was considered an explosion or something. Ugh. So how do I do this? This is how I get up there. How do I get up here? Like this. Aha! So this is the side mission. They're gone. And they were so beautiful. And there's a hidden vendor here. I sacrificed every... Wait, who's gone? Do you need help? Okay. Oh, no, my friend. <clears throat> Thank you. But there's nothing to be done here. But why? Who did you lose? My fish. My precious fish. <laughs> Lost Can you fish. imagine what it's like to keep fish when water is so hard to come by? What? <laughs> They were my friends, my teachers. Uh, why would you sacrifice water why for fish? Why would you sacrifice water for fish? <clears throat> but why not? Because water is expensive. It's a rare commodity. Oh, I know that. I had to give away almost all I had. My supplies, the flour, and my father's weapons. But... They can't survive without the water, of course. And out there, in the world, who knows how many fish are left? Most water has been polluted. Oh, all the dead fish I've seen floating belly up. Such a sad sight. Now, boy, you can't wait. Now I'm telling you, you're blocking the low subtitles. Well, there's nowhere to put anything. If I put this on the top of the screen, you can't see it. If you put it at the bottom of the screen, you can't see it. I guess I'll just get rid of the bar altogether. 
<clears throat> okay. Why are fish so important to you? Why are fish so important to you? <clears throat> Can I ask you a question in return? No. Why is this weapon so important to you? I need it to protect myself, you know, to survive. Ah, <laughs> you see, it's all so subjective, isn't it? What's necessary, what's not? <clears throat> For me, fish are fundamental to existence. Fish teach you everything you need to know about life. Wow, this is a very exciting conversation, by the way. I'm very riveted. Where are your fish? And now I'm curious, where are your fish? Unfortunately, like I said, my fish are not with us anymore. And they're gone. What happened? Uh, <clears throat> someone ate them. Wait, <laughs> Wait, someone ate your fish? Someone broke into my home and ate all of my fish. Then he drank all the water. <laughs> the water you sacrificed wow. so much for. Who? Tell me. Will we go after him? Mm. Uh, nah, forget about it. I think I know who it was. I saw discarded fish bones in front of his place. Uh, but um, uh, let's forget about it. What? You don't want revenge? He ate your fish. Uh, one of the many things fish teach you, as I mentioned, is patience and accepting what fate brings you. <sighs> Once you watch them for a while, just swimming in their tank. They don't question where they are. They don't complain that the tank is too small. They just are. Wait. Wait, what? So, so, so let me get this straight. You spent everything on the water for your fish, then someone ate your fish and drank that water, and yet you're not angry? Oh, I was angry. But what does anger do for me? It causes nothing but negativity and remorse. <coughs> Maybe one day we'll fish in rivers and oceans again. Fishing, ah, yes. <laughs> Fishing can also teach you a lot about life. You sound like some kind of fish monk. <coughs> I'm poor as a monk now, that is for sure. Farewell, my friend. I'm sorry you can't learn anything from my fish. Okay, that was a side. That was a side quest. <clears throat> that was a side quest, according to the game. Right. Okay. Um, I have an unspent skill point. Where do I use those exactly? Right here. It's a parkour skill point. So I can either do active landing, press B before landing, to reduce fall damage and keep your momentum. That's how you do the recovery roll. Or, firm grip. Make the last climb on ledges even when your stamina is gone. And really maintain your grip when you land on ledges from great heights. <laughs> so basically, uh, when you're climbing, even if you're out of stamina, you could still make the last jump and try to pull yourself up. Without this, you'll fall. Um, I think they're both good, actually. I think they both sound good. These are both really good. Reduce the damage and recovery roll. Climb better. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do this one. Firm grip. Okay. Now, hold on a second here because... <clears throat> so, okay, this is what you've completed. Here's your activities. So, I wanted to do... The next one was the Night Runner hideout. Yes. That's what I want to do next. How do I... Oh, here we go. Mark location. So where is that? Right here. 100 meters this way. Alright, let's uh, <clears throat> see what we can do here.
Okay. They try to say stay on the rooftops if you can. Hiding spots. <clears throat> Water runs out. We're all gonna be fucked. PK civilian alike. Correct. We need water. That's a good point. Water is important. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you are here for this second ever stream of Dying Light 2, and now that we're actually getting to see what the game is, if you're enjoying yourself, please consider giving this stream a like here on YouTube. I'm trying to get 100 likes on every stream I do this year. Oh, shit. They were the first to go dark in 23. Probably all dead. Like the rest of them. Hey, huh? I heard Carl talking about water restrictions last night. Know anything about it, Aiden? This guy knows me. Take my advice. Leave Grab the all the city shit. before you get trapped here for good. He knows who you are, he even knows your name and everything. I thought he was gonna attack me at first. Okay, so anyway. Yes, please like the stream if you're having a good time with it. Currently we have over a hundred likes in climbing. The more likes we get, the more discoverability the stream will have, and more people will be able to find it on YouTube. So thank you guys to anyone who has liked it. All right. Why did I want to kill him? I didn't, but didn't, did you notice? I swear at first when I walked over here, it showed a, uh, what do you call it? Oh, look. This is probably something you could blow open, maybe. See the bricks? But anyway, I swear it showed an energy bar above his head. And that made me nervous that uh, he was going to attack me. And then it ended up that he was friendly, so. All right, so this is what we're supposed to do. Now, how do we get, oh, here we go. Repair a generator. So here it is. Repair. Mash the button. That's it. A new hideout with a UV spot. Months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. Wait a minute, this guy was sitting here the whole time? Why didn't he do it? Oh, well, we're a lazy asshole. He just stands there and makes me do the fucking work. Pull that wire on the generator? Oh, that sounds like uh, something that you would want to do. By the way, there's ferns growing in a bathtub. Okay. Well, that's done. Uh, what else do we want to do besides the main story? If anything, let's see. There's only four activities left. Two of them are too hard. See the level four? I don't want to do those yet. But maybe I should do more windmills? How far away are these windmills? I wonder. Maple windmill, willow windmill? Let's see. How far is this one? Uh, pretty far. 500 meters. What about the other one? That one's 270 meters? It's hard to tell because other things are overlapping on my map. Alright, let's see if we can do this windmill. Okay. Yeah, that hunter says, yeah, just like there's trees growing on the rooftops. Yeah, I guess it, uh, hmm. This is kind of weird. Then again, could that? I don't know. I don't know enough about, uh, plants and stuff. Could a plant actually grow on a rooftop if there's just enough dirt there? I don't know how it works. Oh, shit. I'll pass on that one. That's where all the infected hide out indoors. I see. Dark Hollows and Forsaken Stores. Dark Hollows and Forsaken Stores are two open world locations that contain valuable loot. During the day, they're full of infected, so it's smart to explore them at night. Forsaken Stores provide you with rare crafting parts that can be used to create weapon mods and other advanced items, while Dark Hollows are the best place to find valuables and old world money. Loot them to increase your wealth. Okay. <clears throat> Troma says, for some windmills, your stamina actually has to be quite good. Interesting. Oh, there it is. Yeah, let's do this one. We'll just do that one, and then we'll do the story. Okay. So at night, the zombies won't be in those places, and that's when you should uh, take advantage. Sounds like a plan. Oh, shit, I can't get there. What about this? There we go. Can I run on the wires? Yes, you do tippy-toe. <laughs> tippy-toe act. Huh. 
Oh, this is kind of cool. I like how they set up some of the platforming. It actually reminds me of Assassin's Creed from back in the day. Where to get through the city, you had to be like a... Oh, shit, I forgot how to slide. Isn't this city beautiful, Pilgrim? To get through the city, you kind of had to do like puzzles almost. Like to figure out where the platforms was. Gordon Freeman says, a quick tip to try to upgrade your lockpicking skills early on. It comes in handy later in the game. All right, I don't know how you do that, but I'll try it. Oh, what did it say? A hidden container detected? Oh. Do you see? See what? It's unbelievable. Well, there's no real way to get across the street here, is there? Because we are strong. Oh, there is down here. Damn, the parkour is interesting. Once you get, you're getting used to it here. It's kind of neat. It's over there. What's funny is I was just here, and now there's a group of zombies down there that wasn't there before. Because that's the vendor, and the fish guy is right there. So these guys just kind of came out of nowhere. They were not there earlier. I guess I'm gonna have to deal with them. Fuck them. Maybe do stealth killing. Are there stealth kills? Yes. <laughs> Double stealth kill. All right. Snap at the zombie necks. One way to do it, I guess. Now, this is where it showed the book or whatever. Study what? What is it saying? Si oh, sit by the campfire. My father. Seriously? My dad had a pest control biz here. So what is this? You're just Pets learning about the lore of the universe? You know. My dad was known for being discreet. Uh, High-end clients. Was a one-man operation. Did it all himself. He had his special blend of. Okay, I think we're done here. I don't understand what this is. <laughs> One day, some shady guy offered a small... All right, let's continue. Let's go this way. That's a point of interest, but as you can see, it looks like there is a ton of infected down there. Disinfecting the place afterwards. He provided special chemicals for us. That was... The Horseshoe, neutral territory. Inhibitor container detected. Inhibitor container detected. That's what they're saying. Inhibitor container detected. And I need inhibitors to upgrade, right? The question is, where is the inhibitor container? I'm scanning. Could it be one of these points of interest on the ground? Maybe? Maybe that's what they were going for. All those zombies, they were protecting it? I'm not sure. Hmm. But I doubt that these items up here are going to be inhibitor containers since those are the rare upgrade items of the game, right? How do I get up there? We've got... The common machete, also called the gangrene. Let's swap. It claims it's better than the one I have. Even though mine was rare, this one apparently does more damage. Okay. Look in the bottom left corner. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. So take a look at the bottom left corner. See there's a meter there that's saying 39 meters. I guess as you walk. Oh, shit. Okay. Why can't I climb this? Oh, here we go. Aha! I think I found it. <clears throat> 
going to come back at night. Because there's so many. <laughs> I guess I can't do this now. Yeah. Not only are they saying it's a bad idea because it's daytime, but now there's chemicals there too, so I guess I can't do this right now. It seems like it's going to be too much of a chore, right? I guess forget it. Damn, that sucks. I certainly would have liked to get an upgrade, but... Yeah, I guess it's not worth it. I have to come back later. That's it, the quarantine area right there. Now the question is... It does. I was going to say, does it mark it on your map? And the answer is yes, it does. It's permanently on my map, so I'll know to go back there later. All right. Now, how do I... Ah, here we go. Across back. I'm leaving, man. All right, let's get to the windmill that I was trying to get to. Here it is. So, I'm guessing I would jump onto that, and then jump onto there from that. Okay. Oh shit, I almost fucking fell. Oh god. Okay. Nice. Nice. Alright. And I see a ladder, but it's on the other side. So how would I go about getting to that? Crouch here. Here we go. This is a crazy view. Look at this. Oh, man. Uh, hope you're not afraid of heights. Ready? Nicely done. Okay, windmill number two has been obtained. Team Terrorhawk says perhaps there's a gas mask in the game eventually. Maybe. You may be right. That would make sense. And you can go into the chemical areas, no problem. Unlimited breath. All right. The Willow Windmill. So now we have a second uh, safe house here, right? Again, to unlock faction structures, you have to assign them. But I can't assign them yet because I'm not working with any faction. Yeah, new Aiden stash. How do I get down now? Oh, here we go. Zip line down. And I can loot. <clears throat> Grabbing all this crap, I don't know what it's for. <laughs> I don't know what I do with any of this. I just keep looting endlessly. It seems like that's the whole game. Looting the game, right? <clears throat> So now what do I want to do? I'm probably just going to go do the story. Probably just going to do the story, which is over there. Although I would like to see what that blue thing is. The princess in the tower. Accepting the quest, fast forward you tonight. Oh my god. By the way, uh... Parkour points. Okay. I have 1198 out of 5,000 needed experience to get the next parkour level. See that? And here's combat points. I assume you just have to fight, right? Fighting and killing enemies. Okay. That's how you do that. Uh, Kevin Bernstein did a super dad saying, I bought two new pets. Can you guess what they are? If you bought two, I'm going to guess that it's something like cute and small. Like maybe a couple of fish, a couple of, ha couple of hamsters or mice, a couple of guinea pigs maybe. That's my guess. If you bought two, then it's probably something that <clears throat> works well in a pair, but is small. You're not going to get two dogs at the same time. You know what I'm saying? That's my guess. Okay. Um, let's see what's over here, this blue thing. Look at that. Raiders, right? So maybe I could do some stealth takedowns. Is 
Let's see here. Of course you can see me. I'm right here. I'm trying to climb. What's going on? I can't climb. It's glitched. It wouldn't let me climb. He fell. You're done. You like me now, asshole? You're floating. Try this. He's asshole. floating. <laughs> You're a little close. Personal space, bro. What the fuck? Is that how it works? In real life? That's how it works, huh? What the hell was that? Oh, I forgot. I actually have a piece of equipment I didn't equip yet from the last group that I fought in the street. And here's another one. So I'll press see if I can uh, equip two different things here. Okay. I still haven't broken a lockpick. Neck Gator. Alright, let's see what kind of uh, stuff I have here. Neck Gator Uncommon Headwear. Is that what I have equipped? Oh, I put it on by default, I guess. Yeah. Pilgrim's Bracers. We have the Leather Guards. Okay. And then here, Plain Hoodie. Yeah, it's better than what I had as the default. Yeah, Plain Hoodie, so I'm wearing that now. I guess I'm wearing the best. I guess it auto-equips your better equipment as you find it, which is good, I guess, right? Okay, so Kevin's another super jetty guy. He got two snails, one holding Ben and one Jerry. That's cute. Ben and Jerry the snails. That's cool. Snails are cool to watch every once in a while when they're actually moving. They don't move all the time, though. When they're moving around, they're kind of cool to watch. They're so unique. An infected trophy. Huh. All right, well, ooh, look at that. Well, they're all dead. I guess, uh, I guess we'll head over towards where the story is. Chicken pie. What the fuck? You ever seen... <laughs> Mr. Chicken Pie. Oh, that's my favorite place to eat, of course. I've heard of chicken pot pies. I've never heard of just chicken pies. Let's head towards the bazaar. Oh, hi. Rare to see a zombie just standing on a rooftop like that, so it surprised me. Alright, let's head towards the story. Advance the story a bit, shall we? ginormous air conditioning unit on top of that building. Man, I'm so thirsty. Yeah? Howdy. I don't have any water, it. though. So it's down there. That hurt. I guess I can't go that far. Ow. I guess I need to craft more healing items, too. Oh, craft max. I can also craft throwing knives. Oh, I'll craft those, too. Craft 18 throwing knives. Cool. Crafting all kinds of shit. On the conflict with the renegades. There have been Here it is. Spend time at the bazaar. All right. Metro stations right there. Although I don't think you're supposed to do that yet. 
<clears throat> I think they want you to go here. Sometimes I venture out at the street level just to look at the shops and signs from the fall to fall. The door just open. No one checking the door. <laughs> okay, no, no, no one actually making sure everyone, you know, that's going in and out is kosher. Just, you know, Bill, someone, we walk right in. Paris holding up. I have a cousin there. New Paris. My hamster's virus bit cures pimples. I'd rather not ask if she knows. Have you ever planned to call me? It's good for you. Stay safe out there. There's crafting on inside. What's this? A broken bottle. Do you use that to stagger an enemy? He wants water. He's okay, crystals for water, huh? I don't think it's actually anything you can do, though, actively. I think it's just like small talk, right? <clears throat> How's Jasper doing? He is probably asleep. He's not in here right now. Earlier, he'd gone in the closet, but I think he left. So I think he's chilling in the other room. As I knew he would. Like I said, he doesn't stick around that much for the gameplay. He'll stay for a little bit and then get bored and move on. <clears throat> Can I open this? No. I'll just go inside. The bazaar. The bazaar. Info board, the latest and hottest, out of water. The bazaar is in the church, of all places. Inside of the church. Hey, watch where you're going. What a day. No freaking way I can do it. Five years of learning and all for nothing. He's a side quest with this asshole. Right this time. <laughs> Alberto needs to see. I oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. <clears throat> yeah. Marcus's dairy and vegetable stall. What does he have to say? Looks like he has a side quest. Don't recognize me? Or are you allergic to making money? Listen, pilgrim. We can make a killing, you and me. You just need to get me some beets, radishes, parsnips. There he is. Grab him, Ed. He's a murderer. What? Julian, Luke's been poisoned. From the water you sold him, Devin says. What? But I don't sell water. Liar. You told me he got it from you. Whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now. You're sure he didn't blame me after he started ranting? The hell's going on here? That's a crazy cutscene. So Darkness asks, how old is Jasper? I've always wondered, but that he looks quite young. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, when we rescued him from the shelter, it was a rescue shelter, uh, we were told they suspected he was between two and three years old, but they didn't have any concrete records on Jasper um, about his birthday, you know, where he had actually come from. They didn't have anything concrete at all. Um, so we just guessed, you know, that he's between two and three when we got him. And that was about uh, three, a little over three years ago. So likely he's five, six, maybe seven, but probably like six. There's no real way to tell. He's still on the younger side. He's very spry and very energetic. <clears throat> Kevin says that his new snails, Ben and Jerry, are yellowish, and they're very active today. They're trying to run, but they're they're very slow. <laughs> I mean, snails are cool. Snails are cool when they, they're active and they're moving all around. Um, I actually don't know how much they sleep. It's an interesting question. I wonder what snails eat. I have no idea. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so, anyway... Uh, maybe he's a little suspicious. What's your proof? What's your proof? Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast. Jeez. My sister found some weird tapes inside an abandoned building the other day. 
Well, that was fucked up. I guess we gotta talk to him about clearing his name, possibly. <clears throat> no, Jasper does not dis dis uh, display any senior cap behaviors. Absolutely not. Like I said, he seems young and energetic still. <clears throat> and no, when 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 we rescued him, they had just implanted the chip. He he didn't have a chip from a previous owner. He only got the chip when he went to the rescue center. So. Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. So maybe this is revenge? So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe... Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it, and half my flour is yours. Can hmm. you do that for me? I wonder what you do with the flour. I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Psst. Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. So, we just got, like, a bunch of things to do. Two different things to visit for that side quest. Okay. This is a vendor? Hey, that's the pilgrim. Stay away from the chemicals. Bro. What is this? We'll a craft bomb. master? Shop elsewhere. <laughs> craft masters allow you to buy and upgrade your blueprints. <laughs> Upgrading blueprints makes the items you create from them more powerful. To upgrade a blueprint, bring the required item to a craft master and exchange it for a blueprint upgrade. Items used for blueprint upgrades can be looted from special infected, and we've killed one so far. Okay. <clears throat> so, a UV bar. Endurance booster, fire arrows. And then, wait, are these the upgrades? I guess these, oh no, those are buy. Now here's upgrade. So I can upgrade the throwing knife. If I had five infected, uncommon infected trophies, I don't have any. What would happen is it would double the damage of the throwing knife. For medicine, it would reduce the time to apply the medicine down to three seconds rather than four. But again, I don't have it. I don't have any of the... I have, a rare, like, a rare trophy. He wants uncommon. I don't have any uncommon trophies. So I can't do this yet. And he also sells craft parts. All right. I can't do any of that yet. Yeah. <laughs> Only Fear of Death was awesome Street Fighter session yesterday. Glad to see Bison Madness early on. I agree. It was very fun. Gordon Freeman says upgrade your locking when you can, but I don't know how. How would you upgrade the lock ability, right? <laughs> uh, that's all parkour. And this is combat. I don't see anything to do with, like, locks. How would you even do that? I don't see a skill tree for locks, right? <clears throat> so I have no idea how to do that. I don't see anything about that. Okay. This is the vendor. He's selling weapons. And some gear. But I don't have any money. I only have 59 money. I guess I'm not doing nothing with that. Huh? Hey, that's the <sighs> okay. <clears throat> She's seeing a peacekeeper. Her parents are gonna flip. UV rooms? Yeah, there's like UV rooms where you can chill in the UV light. You see that? Huh. So these people are infected, and they stay here in the UV light trying to basically stab off their infections. Right? That's interesting. Alright, there's one more side quest. I'm not sure what to do. What else do I do stuff with? I don't know. Let's talk to this guy. What's the problem? Hey! Aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to have? Man, <laughs> you were in luck there. 
I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. Okay, what's this test about? What's this <laughs> test about? I have to design something useful for the citizens. I already invented underwater reading glasses for Alberto, then a retractable dog leash, but he kept jamming. And besides, we have no dogs here. <laughs> All my ideas are worthless. Now is my last chance to prove that I am not worthless. So I spent the last several weeks walking around the bazaar and thinking, thinking hard. And then I hit it. Our goats. They're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control and uh... let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence. Uh, so what's your problem? <laughs> so what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. I think things. I have them. As far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place yeah, I got south some of already. Horsham, near the old electrical substation. Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case, you'll have to look for other patrol remains, or take a night trip to the store. <laughs> Darkness says, he sounds like a child has to do a project for school the way he's speaking about it. <laughs> What's up, Zombie2665? I haven't had a chance to pop by yet. Wanted to stop by. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Gordon Freeman says, to upgrade your lock painting, it's under crafting. You'll see a thing for resources. All right, I'll have to look at that. <clears throat> I have the parts you need already. Yep, I found them like somewhere you're else. After all, I have the parts you need on me. Are you serious? No. That's just fantastic. Heaven must have sent you. Yeah, here. I thought I had found electronic parts in my little bit of scavenging I did. I don't know how to thank you. One more thing. Could you help me set up my show? My installation's right outside the main entrance. Turn it on, please. I'll go get Alberto. Wait till he sees it. The subtitles are glitched. Meet they don't play out correctly. Entry, near the wall. They're fucked up. This is stupid. All right, let's track this. Turn on Carlos's device. This thing. Okay. Watch the electric fence demonstration. Oh, here's the main story quest. Where... Where's the electric fence demonstration? Oh... Uh, this way? Here it is. Well, he killed it. <coughs> Everything all right? No, it's grilled. The goat is grilled. What a fucking idiot. I'm such an idiot. Yeah. B what happened? I must have overcalculated the voltage. See, he's useless. I'm sorry. I don't know how I could get it so wrong. I told you it would be a waste of time. <laughs> Why? I don't think so. This is very, very... It has big, huge... You're saying it has potential. Potential, yes. It could be an effective weapon. A weapon? It's a ready formula. If you just use it on a weapon. An electric weapon, electrified weapon. It could weapon. raise your arms <clears throat> against turned creatures. The brave goat 
gave its life to science. Oh my god. There's dinner for everyone. And you? I take you as a... Uh, and pronounce you a... Uh, uh, a... Uh, Mora. A craft master? Really? Oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you. We'll talk later. Come, Vincenzo. I can't thank you enough. Here, take this. If it's not strong enough, come around to my craft master workshop. Sure, thanks. Just uh, watch yourself out there, okay? No worries, friend. What do you give me? Okay, weapon modifications. To install a weapon mod, you need to have a blueprint for it and required craft parts and the right weapon. Check the number of mod slots on the weapon icon. The best weapons have three slots available, the grip, the shaft, and the tip. I'm not going to tell you what that sounds like. Different mods fit into different slots. Now press the back button to go to your inventory, choose the right weapon, and press Y to modify it. Okay. <clears throat> By the way, somehow I earned a combat point. Okay. So I can either do air kick. When dropping on enemies from above, nail them with a powerful kick. When high in the air, lunge or look down at an enemy and then press LB to execute. It's a drop kick off a building. Or perfect dodge. Dodge at the right time to stagger your enemy. So press right bumper when moving back or to either side. And a successful perfect dodge staggers the enemy. The fuck? I just randomly got items in inventory. You saw that. Wow. Oh, they both sound good, right? They both sound good. Modding slightly fixes broken weapons. Oh, your boy Lem says the best time to mod is when the weapons are going to break that you like. Because when you modify it, it gets its, uh, its durability back. Oh, that's a useful tip. These are both good. The dodging is good. If you're fighting a group of enemies, you can't just parry. You can dodge, and then you can you know, stagger them and get the counter hit. But this is good for getting the advantage on enemies. Boom! And I bet you can do this on zombies, too. Damn, I don't know. They're both good. I'm supposed to fucking know what to get. This leads to insane drop kick. Look at this. That's <laughs> so stupid. Take it. Wow. This would lead to grapple. Look at this. Throw the enemies to the side. And then toss them off a building like an asshole. Look at that. <laughs> oh, they're both good. I don't know. What do you think? You know what? Fuck it. I want this one. I want to drop kick them off the side of a fucking building. Okay. So a bunch of things. I was told in crafting <clears throat> is how you do the lock picking thing. But how and where? This is just making lock picks. Uh. See, it says upgrade level. How would you upgrade the lockpick? I have no idea. I don't see it. I don't see a way to do any lo any lockpicking upgrading here. So, uh, let's see. Uh, so here you go, moddable weapons. Here they are. So this one has low durability, the grubby bat. So maybe I should put it on the grubby bat. Let's try that. Modify. This is the spark. All right, let's do it. So I just put the spark mod on the grubby bat. And now the grubby bat got a lot of durability back. Okay. Cool. So I'll wait. It's a good... good. Oh, got an achievement. Oh, so this is how it works. Modify your weapon for the first time. All right. <clears throat> I'll wait, and then I'll do it when... Uh, I'll do it when we need it. You know, like when the weapons are low, lower durability or whatever. Okay, Go Team Venture took me five dollars, and I'm enjoying the stream. Thank you, Go Team Venture. Yeah, it's a little better now that we're actually playing the game. Seriously, like all you had to do was play the game. Like, okay, now I'm kind of getting it. We're seeing some cool stuff. This is what we wanted all day yesterday, and couldn't get it because they wanted to do their intro segment, right? Thank you, Go Team Venture, for the five dollar tip. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Looking at all the dead people. That says here they're missing. Same difference. <laughs> they never find them anyway. Now then, why the board? It's been 15 years. Many people disappeared back then. My neighbor lost his two kids. But 
life goes on. Except, nobody has the courage to take those photographs down. But it's hopeless. Since there are no night runners, the search always ends the same. Okay, ask about night runners. Yeah, those night runners, huh. tell me about them. What's there to say? Nearly all of them are dead. When they were around, they were the only ones not afraid to go out at night. They rescued those who didn't manage to get to a shelter. But of the entire group, only a few survived, including Frank, their former commander. Once upon a time, he was great. Now, he drinks himself into a stupor at his place in the central loop. Hard to say how much longer he'll be around. Okay. Ask about Mia? They're not gonna know shit about Mia. Just say, how do I find them now? Where are all these kids at now? <clears throat> After all those years, most of them are probably dead. If someone got luckier and is still wandering around, they will probably be in the central loop. More peacekeepers there. Easier to survive. Someone must know more. Why? The past is the past, and there's no point in dredging it back up. Hmm. Everyone has their own problems. Here and now, Pilgrim. Everyone fights for themselves. Okay. So that's it? That's it. There's more to do, but... That's all that was. I guess, would the quest be inside again, or...? <laughs> I actually don't know. So, Movie Bob's Panty Collection, what a name, says that the lip-syncing is terrible. He's the the animations look awful. Seems to be one area in which the modern games have not made any improvement. And I, I will agree with you here. It definitely leaves something to be desired. I think that it should be better, and it's not. I don't know why it's as bad as it is. I'm not saying that it's game-breakingly bad, but it definitely could be improved. Player stash. So what else am I supposed to do here exactly? How do I get upstairs anyway? Is there a staircase up? Oh. Tape? Carl's journal number three, an artifact collectible. Okay. This goes outside. Uh I'm not sure what else they want me to do. There's no situation. There's no icon. You see this, right? Like, I'm not going crazy. There's no mission icon here to tell me what to do. It's marked as the quest, the active quest. But you where know, do I go to I fucking do this? Let me go upstairs. <clears throat> that door doesn't open. Just because you got a hole in your shoes doesn't mean you're poor. If you got no one to lean on, then... Uh, oh, another tape? That's two. I found two of these tapes. Here's some more goats. At least he didn't kill the only goat. At least they have more goats. Haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade at the center. Oh, pumpkins and gourds. Cool. Do I know you? Wait, I know you. No, you don't. This isn't Skyrim, fucker. You don't know my ass. Wait, are you trying to hit on me? What? Did the pumpkin just ask if I'm trying to hit on him? <laughs> yes. Yes, I find pumpkins very attractive. Really? Oh. Sorry. Hey, hangman. How's the neck? I guess I gotta talk to these random people. Who is Barney? Who is Barney? <clears throat> Everyone knows Barney here. I don't. Tell me. Well, I wouldn't bother yourself about Barney. He doesn't like nosy people. Liable to piss him off if he finds out. <clears throat> and you don't want that kind of trouble. <clears throat> no, I definitely want to know more. Okay. He's Sophie's younger brother. Some say he's crazy, but he's a pillar of the bazaar. The PKs are afraid of him, and they should be. Barney is no Peace one keepers. to fuck with. Barney Fife ain't nothing to fuck with. Barney Fife ain't nothing to fuck with. <laughs> right. You're a pilgrim, aren't you? That's right. 
Do you hang people for that, too? Yes. Uh, I just wanted to say that I was rooting for you. Yeah, huh? Thanks for standing up for me. What? But I, I didn't... Ah, I get it. Sarcasm. Look, it's not that easy to go against the crowd. Sure. I know people are scared of pilgrims sometimes, but... <sighs> Shit. You survived outside the walls. <laughs> that to be some. So I guess we're just supposed to keep talking to these people, huh? The people that are highlighted in green. Must like be the people who you can have a conversation tonight. with. Again. Who else is highlighted in green? You look like some. Here's someone. You look familiar. Yeah. I'm the guy who almost got hanged. <laughs> Why worry? You're standing here, aren't you? Wow, I asked Excuse me. Look, we had no choice. If you had turned like we thought you were gonna, it would have been a massacre. I'm being asked some of the polls for the Game Pass stream tonight. Is There's two insane front runners. You know, the One Piece game, Power Warriors 4, I think it's called, and uh, Outer Wilds. So there's no way, unless we get like a thousand people out of nowhere start voting in the next few hours, those are the two games we're playing tonight. They were massively winning the polls ever since I put them up two days ago. So <clears throat> We had no choice. If you turn like we thought you were gonna, I'll say you're right. I see. It was a risky situation. I get it. So? We good? We're good. No. He says that and he stabs right in the neck. Jugular explodes. Blood squirting. Alright, that's a little excessive. We citizens have seen it all. Why so who's green on, that I need to talk to? There was someone over here, wasn't there? Maybe not. I'll talk to everyone who's green. Find something you like in the bazaar? I don't see anyone else who's green. Good board for right? I'll be half a crystal for Gil. No. Maybe outside, maybe you're in the outskirts. You know, sometimes I wonder what we did wrong. Surely God. Kevin says I want one piece. A lot of people have wanted one piece. It's always come in like third place in every poll we've done. So I'm happy that we'll finally be playing it tonight. I know Slayer, who was a major supporter of the Lost Judgment campaign was the person who actually told me about the game to begin with, and he's been wanting it so badly, and now finally we get to play it tonight. No, I don't talk to any of these people. They gotta be highlighted in green, and no one wants to talk. Nope. I don't know, what am I supposed to do? Chicken coop. Uh... I really don't get it right now. Like, what am I missing? Who, I'm supposed to, who am I supposed to be talking to? No one's highlighted, right? Anyone play this fucking game and know what I'm supposed to be doing right now? Because the game's telling me nothing at all. I have this the mission highlighted. I'm walking all around like an idiot. And there's nothing to do. So I don't understand how you advance the mission. <laughs> Unless am I actually supposed to do questing? Like, am I supposed to go do side quests or something? Maybe. Let's see. There's the maple windmill. There's nothing to do. The only thing is this sheer side quest. Poison water. That's it, and it's, it's labeled as red, meaning I'm probably not supposed to do it yet, right? So you do have to do that. I'm being told, yes, you have to do this mission. Oh, all right, well, let's track this. I guess we have to do it then. Find Margo the water supplier and find Hans the hunter. Every time I see you, you're okay. worried about something. And then everything works out. Your boy Bob says I'm pretty sure there's a person you can speak to. About Who? Isn't that Grandpa's place? Electricity starting to knock out. Look, I'm scanning. There's no one. There's no person who's green. Why didn't fucking talk to you? I really ought to get going. I thought I could trust them. Really nice coming to you. I don't get it. Maybe they're really? I guess I have to do the side mission then. <laughs> so confused. All right, let's do it, I guess. 